by Harlem Hengren. I'm your host, Norm. Today, I wanted to show a quick tip on using displacements in Blender 2.8. This week, I was trying to use open shading language with the displacement node in Blender. However, it didn't seem to do anything. Through this process, I discovered that Blender is set to bump only, and you need to switch to displacement. I will show you where that setting is located and how to apply a basic displacement to the mesh. Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I am going to use a UV sphere, so I will delete the default cube and add a UV sphere. And the only reason I'm doing this is because by default, the UV sphere has many more vertices than the default cube. And we want to see the result of the displacement on each one of those vertices. You could achieve the same result with a cube by adding a subdivision modifier. Now go to settings and change the render engine to cycles. We are using cycles because for most of my work, I'm, I'm using open shading language, which is only available in cycles. Now we are going to go to the shader tab, the top, and we are going to add a new material. And I'm going to add a noise texture, and I'm going to add a displacement vector node. I will take from the noise into the height and the displacement into the displacement. And so immediately, and let me switch over to, let me switch over to the render preview. Immediately you do see a result. However, if I try to increase the amount of noise, if I try to scale it, we'll add a, a math node, converter, math, and I will multiply. So if I and multiply by one, you see this result. If I multiply by 10, it looks like the same result. And this is not what we're looking for. We want the displacement when we scale it, we want to be able to really move those vertices. So let's change the setting. We will go to the material tab. And if you look under, if you look under settings, you'll see that displacement is set to bump only. So this is only bump mapping. I'm going to change that to displacement and bump, and immediately you see the result. And, and 10, because we are scaling by 10, 10 is, is way too great for our screen. So we'll move that back to two. And you can just see as you move this, it just changes the amount and you can go huge with this scaling. And I'll also show what happens if you add a modifier. So let me add a subdivision surface. If we wanted more vertices, we could add this. And that just shows more and more detail. So this shows you how to change the displacement setting in Blender from bump only to displacement and how to set up a very basic noise texture with scaling. In future tutorials, I will be showing how to use this functionality with open shading language. If this is helpful, please subscribe and leave a comment. Also, let me know if there are any other issues you are having with open shading language in Blender 2.8.